Hey, what's going on YouTube? Happy Thursday. This is Marcus and I am back with another video. I'm back with another story time. People really, these people really be showing out coming, coming through here, coming to the valet service. So yesterday we had a guy um, and he, I guess, I think he said the lady was his, yeah, it was his grandma. So he came to, to bring his grandma to her appointment. Now, if y'all watched my previous video, I made mention that we have a specific spot that you're supposed to park at if you want to use valet service. And we even have signs that we put in the, in the, not the parking lot, but y'all know the hospitals where you come, where the cars come through. We got two signs out there so people will know. Um, the first sign, it has an arrow to indicate where which lane you're supposed to come pull into for valet and then it has we have another sign that says stop here for valet but he decides that he wanted to park further back from the signs which that's normally where people park if they're picking somebody up or dropping somebody off um now, usually, whenever we valet, when the people pull up, we walk up to the car, get the information, and then we take the car and drive and drive it up to where we park it. Now, if you are parked further back, like where this where this guy was parked at, we usually don't come to you because we if we assume that you either dropping off or picking somebody up. If you park back there, you know we not assuming that you're going to use valet now unless there's already cars in the valet lanes and you pull in then sometimes we'll walk up to you and say hey are you here for valet yada 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 but because of the fact that there wasn't no cars in front of him we just let him sit there so he gets out goes into the building that we valet for goes and gets a wheelchair and comes back and he was you know just like y'all working you know i mean they mean very very rude very nasty um and the guy the guy that i was out there with he was i could tell he was about to say something smart because that's one of the thing one of our pet peeves is when people come to valet you don't pull up to the sign or don't pull up to the designated spot but then you get mad if we if we don't come to you to park your car and so he was about he was tempted to say you don't see the sign right here but he caught himself and the guy was like, what? And he was like, you know, this is where you pull up for valet. This is where you pull if you want to use valet, brother. So the guy pulls up. I already had an attitude. And I heard him say something about, um, he was like, this is the, the same mother effort that locked my keys in the car. Cause I guess last time he came, somebody locked his keys in the car. And so the guy was trying to tell him, like, no, I didn't lock your keys in the car. But how the F you gonna tell me? He was like, because I'm telling you, like, it wasn't me. I don't lock keys in people's cars. So the dude starts popping off. Oh, I'll whoop your fat, you know what, in front of my grandmama, this, that, and the other. And the dude, now, the, the guy the, the guy that was bringing the grandma, he was the one that was all up loud and aggressive. The other guy, you know, he was just like, you know, after he told him, I'll whoop your, you know what, in front of my grandma, he was just like, you know, well, let's do it. Like, it ain't nothing but space and opportunity. So then the guy, now mind you, the guy was the, that was building his grandma went in. He was talking crap, but he was like still pushing his grandma in the hospital. So he told the guy like, wait till I come out and this, that, and the other. And the guy was like, I'm gonna be right here, brother. I ain't going nowhere. So he went in. Apparently from what I, cause it, the time, I ended up having to take a car out. And when I was, I went to go take a car up take a car up and bring a car back down and when I was bringing the car back down and I seen security was at was standing at the valet desk from what I, from what I was told he went and complained to the security about you know whatever was transpired and tried to make it seem like that the guy because the guy is another guy that works with us he he's kind of like second in command but he's not because he doesn't really have like an official title but he's kind of like the the go-to person whenever our boss is not there and so when he was saying that when he went and talked to the guy that the guy was saying that you know the worker was like rude and irate 
And I was thinking, I said to myself, I was like, well, he must be irate every day then because he had the same demeanor that, you know, when he was interacting with the guy, he had the same demeanor he has all the time. I'm like, so he must be irate every day. So he said he went on to explain to him that, you know, when you when you park where you would park that, we don't know what you're here for because that's not where the valet is supposed to park. Now, now we do have people that are sometimes stopped back there like if they have somebody who's older or somebody who's handicapped or something or disabled, they'll sometimes stop back there and let them out and then they'll pull up to the valet. But he didn't do that. He just stopped back there. Now, mind you, we have... Um, where our stand is, because the, the building that we valet for is actually attached to another part of the hospital. So where our valet stand is... The entrance to the building that we ballet for is to the left, and the entrance to the other building, um, is which is the heart and vascular part of the hospital, is to the right. Now we don't officially ballet for the heart and vascular hospital, but if people come to our, you know, stop where we are, you know, we'll ballet them, and then, and then they'll walk over to that entrance. But if you pull up to that entrance, to that entrance, looking for ballet service, we're not walking down there to come ballet your car. So anyway, so my whole thing was. It would have made more sense for you to come to the valet stand since you had to go you were going to the other building anyway but anyway so you know they pretty much told the guy that you know next time you know when he comes out just don't say nothing to him you know next time he comes through because i think he said he comes through when it comes wednesdays and thursdays so he's probably be here he, i think i mean wednesdays and friday so he'll probably come back tomorrow so they told him you know next time he come back just don't say nothing to him now the guy who I was talking about that second in command, he said that when he talked to him, that, you know, he'll try to keep an eye out for him and he'll handle him because he said he never had an issue with him. I think I've dealt with him one time before. I think I brought his car back down one time, but I've never, I think he might have just been on one that day. Um, I don't know. He, like I said, he had an attitude from the jump when he first addressed us there wasn't no hey good morning excuse me you know it was just y'all working or you know he said y'all doing this i'm like but you know i one thing I've, i'm learning to do and pick is pick and choose my battles when when people be you know saying certain things to me i've you know i've learned over the years that everything doesn't deserve a response you know some things you know, let somebody else handle it. But I mean, that whole thing was crazy though. Cause I'm like, first of all, the situation wasn't that serious for you to be threatening to beat somebody up. It honestly, it kind of seemed like he was trying to show off cause he was in front of his grandmama. And that's what it seemed like to me. But my biggest issue was the fact that you are doing all this cussing in front of your grandmama. Like that's one of the things I, I, I hate. Whenever I see grown people in the presence of their parents, and they cussing and I mean even if you ain't cussing at your parent just the fact that you're in your parents presence and you cussing that bothers me I mean even you know you know some some children and parents have that type of relationship where you know the parents allow it or the parents don't say nothing about it but stuff like that irritates me but anyway that's that was just another work chronicle like I tell like I told y'all we be having it seemed like just for the past at least once a week the past three four weeks i've been coming coming here with a story time for y'all thankfully i ain't been the one that's been having to deal with these people like i said I'm, i learned how to pick and choose my battles i'm not about to be going back and forth with somebody that i probably ain't gonna ever see again but anyway i thank you all for tuning in leave your comments down below uh be looking out because i'm actually going to be coming out with another video after this one um because I got something I need to address. But anyway, I thank you all for tuning in and I will talk to you all later.